about how this started. Yeah. So, <laughs> in a sense, I've sort of been an accidental muse in that your clothes to me have been empowering yeah. and that they capture the include cognition of how I live. Yeah. You know, it's a seamlessness, it's an ease, but it's also like a sort of sense of, I sometimes find this word problematic, but it's a sense of Afropolitan excellence. Yeah. And that's what I love about your clothing. Okay. It's quite contemporary. Yeah. And I think, you know, the way that I said it was that you called me. Yeah, I called you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, um, it, was, it was very important for me. And also, you know, for the brand and um, the relationship you have with the brand. Yeah. And also, you know, you being one of the most important um, person, especially in the, in the art scene, you know, in Ghana. Um, yeah, I thought I thought you know it would be you know it, 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 it would be great for us to you know have this collaboration and also make sure that you know the creative scene, the art scene in the in, in the country would also make sense to other people. So that was why you know that was a reason why yeah. you know I had to reach out. And I think also yeah. the beauty the the beauty of our friendship is that I've always just organically loved and been purchasing and patronizing. Right, and patronizing, yeah. From so, a very yeah. organic point of view. Yeah. So yeah. when when you mentioned or brought this up as an idea, yeah. it just seemed like the most natural thing. Natural ever. thing, yeah. So there was as no pressure exactly, exactly. behind it. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I love it and you know, let's go with and it. And I think as someone who's been a creative multi happy in myself, yeah. you know, I know there are very controversial discussions about how Fashion is not an art form. Right? Right. Fashion is fashion. If fashion is fashion. But I love how there's sort of been this congruency of bringing the two together yeah. in such a seamless way yeah. and sort of the sensibility around, um, I guess, Nodal also being um, a nurturing yeah. sort of conduit yeah. and incubator for yeah. amazing emerging right. debris artists. I think yeah. that, that sort of balance, balance and yeah. sort of like bringing that together is, has yeah. been sort of fascinating to see. Yeah. Yeah, I think here, here, here at the Nodo, um, the first time I was here, I saw the place and it was so fascinating. So I said, I just said to, hey, Rita, I'm coming back to do something here. And it's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm ready, just, just come in. And I think, you know, just looking at the space, because it doesn't really happen, you know, especially in, in the Ghanaian, you know, fashion industry, where it's, it's always the, the same traditional runway that goes on. So once I saw, you know, the Nodo um, residency, I felt like, yo, this is fantastic. This is amazing. We can actually do something here together. Yeah. And that was the reason, part of the reason why, you know, I had to reach out to say yeah. that, hey, you know, the Nodo, Punta, you know, let's do something. Right? And I do think it's an important collaborative moment because I think my team would even be the first to admit that at the institution, at Nodo, we're passionate about thinking outside the box. Right, right. So beyond the conventions of how things are done. Right. And so when you think about how this came about and the and the sort of the unconventional way in which we are presenting this collection, yeah. which is at the famous pavilion courtyard. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I love yeah. how the flags mimic the sense of movement yeah. that yeah. the clothes have yeah. and that freedom. Yeah. And I think, yeah. yeah, I think it's just yeah. it's a arguably an important quarter moment. Very, 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 very yeah, important. Yeah, I think even sense. even from the keynotes um, we had, you know, it had, you know, easiness, it had freeness. And exactly. I think that's, you know, once you get in, the flash gives you those kind of free exactly. easiness. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. That's the ultimate yeah. destination for the space. So, no, I'm yeah. very excited. I'm very, very excited. Yeah. It's amazing. So, I think as far as challenges, yeah. I mean, we got back, for me, it was a seamless experience, yeah. arguably. I mean, I think our first meeting was when I was in France. Yeah. Um, um, and that was when we sort of had with your amazing team the yeah. preliminary discussion about yeah. you know the dates, concepts, concepts um, yeah. narrative curve, yeah. how to present the, the sort of the work well, um, yeah. and the pieces. But I think for me, I remember our first design meeting. Yeah. Well, actually, to be honest, our first <laughs> yeah. the only, the only design, design meeting, meeting, yeah, which was very efficient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also very. Um, Creatively stimulating. I think because we sort of aligned on so many, so many creative yeah. concepts yeah. and sort of you sort of trusted me with yeah. the sensibility yeah. of your brand, yeah. it was sort of like not as difficult to yeah. align on so many concepts and ideas, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and I think that was what I enjoyed. Yeah. But what, I think you could speak more to this, obviously, but as, yeah. a, as a designer, I think maybe limitations of sourcing materials, materials, what yes. to use. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I, 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 you know, for example, I, I explained my creative process um, with you um, because I'm not really like the technical kind of like designer. I like to, you know, do my research, you know, reference, exactly. you know, all of those, you exactly. know, stuff. 
and yeah, and yeah, the 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 the, the sourcing because here you have to do the fabric hunting. You know, you have to look at what it's available in the market before you know you can go back and even start to sketch and everything. Um, but uh, we we had a few. Um, looks we wanted to do but unfortunately yeah. uh, we we didn't we, we, we didn't get yeah collaborating with like, like sourcing from, local from yeah, yeah, was yeah it wasn't it was it was very buyers, very yeah. difficult but um in terms of you know with, with with designing it was very easy with me because it was it was quite interesting because we were all on the same page you exactly, had exactly yeah. what i had so we knew that okay and i think um one, one of the um most interesting powers um you we, we picked some of the inspirations from sportwear, you know, colors, and I was like, okay, you know, exactly. the, the the neckline, and that's actually you know um, a part of my background pick because um, I used to be a football player, oh, right? So exactly, player. yeah, right. So um, even just looking at the, the the necklines and everything was so important for me, yeah. and but I think it was so much ease, um, yeah. you know, it was it was amazing. We just had to, you know, hit him. And I think and I think everything. even things that sort of. Could have been a challenge, yeah. like the time limitations. The time limitations. You know, I think yeah. I think that was sort of eased or eased over with sort of the sense of our alignment on yeah. the vision, on the vision, the yeah. vision for right. the right. collection. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think for me, one thing that I'm really passionate about when it comes to your you know, your work is that you have a sense of um, you want the fabrics and the materials. To be as breathable yeah. and as organic and as yeah. natural as possible yeah. Yeah. in the context of where we are. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's sort of been very refreshing to see that yeah. you're a designer who actually pragmatically cares about that. Absolutely. And it isn't, it isn't just about sort of just looking at things from a purely aesthetic right. point of view. Absolutely. And I thought that was so refreshing. Very, um, very refreshing. You know, and so yeah. there weren't any awkward discussions about leather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or yeah. about things that would have been like. So it's all like entirely bizarre. Yeah, yeah. I think um, the, there's this um, one look where um, we, we use suede. Um, even look, look, looking at the suede, I had to be very intentional with the kind of suede we were even Yeah, using. exactly. And so the cuts. To make, the cuts to make it sure that, you know, it's breathable, you know, it sits very well you know, on you. You don't have to really struggle to wear them because, you know, the whole point is, you know, just feel free in yeah. the, and wear the yeah. outfits and, then, you know, yeah. you should And you should even be with the, I mean, going to the composition of, you know, our favorite pieces. I yeah. think when you talk about the incorporation of, you know, sportswear, which yeah. as you reference is your background yeah. as far yeah. as football, I think, I mean, I hope that, you know, what people expect from the collection is, yeah. again, words we've probably used often, but but because of how much they apply to the collection, yeah. like a sense of ease, yes. yeah. a celebration of freedom, freedom. Yeah. a celebration of just um, creative proliferation, yeah. beauty, and just, I guess, a aesthetic sensibility that's yeah. about simplicity, simplicity yeah. and how it's how we both feel as like simplicity yeah. is the ultimate form of elegance right. as far as you know that heightened experience of yeah. just uh, that commitment to clean lines yeah. and form yeah. and structure or sometimes lack like thereof. right absolutely you know? yeah we have many mutual friends sort of who <laughs> are in the creative space and are also yeah. designers so that segue that yeah. sort of line between the creative, the creative and the art and the art exactly right. and for yeah. Um, that difference between that fine line between design yeah. and art. art and I think yeah. one thing we've sort of been looking to explore is how to collaborate with institutions like the v and Museum right. and right. as yeah. you know um, a mutual friend of ours, Bubo Gisi was involved was in involved, the yeah. v yeah. African fashion exhibit yeah. recently yeah. Um, as well as friends like um, Sarah yeah. from Tongoro, and yeah. I think for me, yeah. um, you know, amazing creatives from all parts of the continent, Senegal, Nigeria, Nigeria Ghana. Right. Um, and I think for me, it's been brilliant to see sort of spaces like the v and Museum yeah. and like ours at yeah. the Institute Museum embrace fashion, fashion exactly. as a sort of um, art form, form. in yeah. a sense. Yeah. Um, and to sort of challenge the conventions of what we think fashion can be. Can be yeah. and, and, and I think even though fashion is fashion and it's in that sort of prerequisite box, I think it's also nice to challenge that sometimes into the it's school of thought and yeah. how we present it and yeah. how we discuss it and how we yeah. address it. Yeah. And, and so for me, that's something I'm looking forward to in, in posterity, to having yeah. artists um, and creatives come into the space uh, as far as the Nordal Residency Program under the museum. And the museum. Um, okay. Who are experimenting with textile? Right. Um, you right. have artists yeah. like Abdullah Konate, who yeah. 
um, uses textile in such an amazing and brilliant way. Yeah. Um, and we're lucky to have one of his works in the museum collection. Oh, absolutely. Um, but, but I think that it's, 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 again, for me, it's sort of thinking beyond um, very clear lines, right. so sort of blurring the lines a bit. And sometimes that can be fun. Fun, very, very, you very, know, very, very fun. Know, yeah. You know. um, I mean, for me, um, you know, this, this, this is how I see, you know, um, the merging between art and fashion where um, I see the, the, the clothes to be like the brush strokes, you know, on the body, as yes. the body being a canvas mm. and, you know, putting the outfits on it, that's being the, you know, the, 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 the strokes and everything, because, um, that's you know, so poignant. I'm yeah, not, I'm not <laughs> right. Because I mean, we, we, we all have different kind of shapes and everything exactly. and, you know, and, and the way, you know, clothes sits on the body is very, it's, it's super true, important, true. especially with the, especially with the, with a fitted outfit. It that once it, like it, it gives you one of the, the most portion, basic yeah. principles yeah. anybody would learn um, at an edgy level yeah. when you learn about sort of classical painting is yeah. form and structure. Form and structure, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> yeah, you have to get everything, you exactly. know, the silhouettes, the cut. everything, the cuts, yeah. super yeah. important. And even when 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 you look at the um, Ajabin cuts. Yeah. It is super intentional, right? You yes. know, it's giving you a shirt, but it's not a shirt. Exactly. Right. It's giving you a big armhole, you exactly. know, the length of the shirt, you know, it sits yeah. exactly on your waist. So all of this, you know, can be you, you can I mean like like you said, the way the way you explain, the way you present it can also be seen as, you know, art. Yeah. You know, that and, that's yeah. true, that's true. So yeah. Um, and so I think for me it's been a huge honor yeah. just to be able to have your work. Yeah. Sort of, ex sort of. I would almost say exhibited. Yeah. But always like, you know, in the, in the sense that the, the runway is like, yeah. a, is like, you know, poetry in motion, yeah. like a moving exhibition. Yeah. But you know, to be shown here, to be celebrated here, yeah. and I think for me, from one young creative, creative. to another, I'm another, really yeah. proud of all that yeah. you've achieved and sort yeah. of the consistency with your vocabulary yeah. and sort of how you've really, in a sense, challenged and transformed the way I think about African designers yeah. in a really interesting way. Yeah. So it's yeah. so refreshing. Yeah, very. You know? Yeah. yeah so, thank yeah. you so much. And no, I'm no. also grateful, you know, to, to have you, um, you know, on this collaboration because it's also important for especially Ghanaian and African creatives to understand that, you know, it goes beyond you working alone, right? It's, exactly. it's super Synergies important. Synergies are important. Right. You need to have someone, yeah. you know, share mind, share, share ideas and everything. Yeah. So, you know, once you do that, you know, it, it makes everything interesting, you know, it's like, hey, you know, these guys are doing something. And exactly. I think it's, exactly. it's super great and important for, you know, creatives around the world, yeah. especially Africa. Sure, on the that, continent, yeah, on the continent that, yeah. to see that. It's been yeah. such a special moment. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate so Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.